7 p.m. Versus, Montreal FSN Plus, 1-500 am ending on a high note preview, United coach Adrian Heath said from the start of this 5 of 6 games at homestand that he would have a better idea of where his team stood after it. Well, he will have his answer after Saturday night, when United, 4-7-1, takes on Montreal, 3-9, at TCF Bank Stadium. So far in that stretch, United is 2-2-1. Montreal should be a good opportunity to tip that record into a winning one. He has lost seven of its past eight games and is tied for the second fewest points in the league at nine. Quotable, if we could get three points, it'd maybe put us above the red line again, and all of a sudden, you look at where we are a third of the way into the season, is it a big improvement on last year? Yes, it is. I'm confident we can get a result, but we're going to have to play well. Adrian Heath numbers, United has given up the most first-half goals in the league this year at 15, and 11 of those came in the first 30 minutes. No other MLS team has allowed more than 11 goals in the first 45 minutes this year. Injuries, for United, G. Matt Lampson, knee, D. Mark Birch, knee, and M. Sam Cronin, concussion, are out while D. Jerome Thiessen, groin, D. Tyrone Mears, calf, and M. Ibsen, thigh, are questionable. D. Wyatt Omsberg is on loan to Tulsa in the USL. For Montreal, D. Zakaria Diallo, Achilles, D. Kyle Fisher, Tibia, M. David Schoenier, Angle, and D. Victor Cabrera, calf, are out. Megan Ryan Moore from Sports Kevin Love won't be able to help LeBron James and the Cavaliers in Game 7 against the Celtics. Fulham secured a return to the Premier League after four years away and a windfall of at least $210 million by beating Aston Villa 1-0 in the second-tier English playoff final on Saturday. Kevin Harvick is well aware he's in the midst of something special. Third-seeded Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova of Russia won the Strasbourg International after laboring to a 6-7-5-7-6-3-7-6-6 win against Dominika Sabukova of Slovakia on Saturday. Raw emotion came from Alex Ovechkin as he wore an Eastern Conference champions hat for the first time.